Barking in Dagenham is one of the most deprived places in the UK, with poor outcomes for too many of our residents. We are seeing huge demographic change. In 2001, 90% of our population was white British. Now less than half is. And 30% are under the age of 18, with half of these aged 7 or younger. Our older residents still disconnected from the council, from what we're doing, and from what they recognised as their borough decades ago. Meanwhile, we have a £68 million funding gap to close. But, while we're one of the poorest boroughs in the country, there's also lots of opportunity. The capital's economic growth is moving east. We're 20 minutes from central London and have space for 60,000 new homes. Our Growth Commission in 2015 gave us a clear direction. It said we need to increase the pace and scale of physical regeneration whilst investing more in our community. And that's what we've been doing. Providing people with what they need to help themselves, getting to the root cause of issues to help them get back into the labour market, but most importantly, enabling residents to change their behaviour, because we can't improve outcomes without them buying into what we're doing. We're also building London's first youth zone, and are on track to house a new film studio in Dagenham, rivalling the likes of Pinewood and boosting our local economy. We also actively pursued Coventry University to set up a campus here, vacating our historic civic centre in Dagenham to enable them to move in. Now we can offer flexible learning and affordable courses to residents who historically had no aspirations to go to university. We're connecting and reconnecting with our residents, old and new, so people choose to move here but also stay here, so that no one is left behind. We're changing the conversation by talking to and with our residents differently. We're making the council more visible and going where conversations are already taking place, listening more and offering information that people want to know. And it's paying off. In the last year, we've jumped to the top of the GovRank leaderboard, improved engagement figures and spoken to 6,000 residents about what they want for their borough. Tens of thousands of local people are coming together every summer. And we're focusing on facilitation. Initiatives like Everyone, Every Day, the UK's largest ever participation project, are helping people to be more resilient, using resources to do things for themselves for the local community. Where help is needed, we're offering it in a different way. Our new community solution service is fundamentally changing the way we help people, asking questions and getting to the heart of what they need so we can work together to tackle root causes and overcome barriers so they can change their own outcomes long term. As part of this, our multi-agency approach to children's social care has been praised by Ofsted for delivering a stable workforce that protects our borough's youngest residents. This focus on physical and social investment has driven our transformation as a council, reshaping the way we work to establish a blueprint for a new kind of council. Internally, we've worked with staff to energise the organisation's culture and restructure our workforce. We've designed new standards that promote a positive, commercial and customer-centric ethos. This commitment to improving people management saw us achieve the Investors in People standard at silver level in 2017, and to accelerate growth in housing, transport and regeneration, and create new jobs. We've created Be First, our own regeneration company. By 2021, it plans to triple annual housing developments and create a £10.1 million surplus every year. It's already launched our second housing zone of 3,000 properties and secured plans for a £263 million railway extension that will unlock land for more than 10,000 homes. But it's not just about building more homes. It's about making sure they're truly affordable for our residents. Right to rent and right to invest are just two ways that we're breaking away from other councils to ensure that local people can afford a decent standard of living even on the minimum or London living wage. We're also making our offer attractive to artists who are having to move further east to find affordable rates by creating London's first artist enterprise zone, providing vital workspace. Plus, our regeneration plans for Barkings Market and Town Centre will create a thousand new jobs for our aspirational working class residents who for decades relied heavily on Ford to provide local employment. Well, Barking and Dagenham is a London borough with big ambitions. But it doesn't just have the ambition, it also wants to be sure that there's a way of delivering that ambition as well. And that's why it has promoted the creation of Be First, an arm's length regeneration company with big goals to create 50,000 homes over the next 20 years and 20,000 jobs. But what's really striking about the council's approach is that they want to carry the whole of the population with this change so that everybody benefits, not just the new people coming into Barking and Dagenham, but the people who've lived there all their lives. 
We are Barking and Dagenham Council. One borough, one community, no one gets left behind. Thank you.